Happy Friday. I'm meteorologist Jacqueline Whittle. You're looking at storms in Ohio on Wednesday. Boy, it's been an active week right across pretty well the upper Midwest and in through the Great Lakes and really even the east getting into some storm action yesterday. There's another shot of some tree damage. We did have some very strong wind gusts, a lot of flash flooding uh, throughout the week and a lot of electrified storms, a lot of lightning. All right, let's talk a little bit about our threat today. We'll talk about round two of severe weather. That's going to be for the plains. Hot temperatures on the east coast. Yeah, into the 90s again today and an update on tropical storm Darby and really where we go from here. I'll have that coming up on your Friday morning as well. Here's our overall temperature pattern. You can see severe weather in the plains today, as I mentioned, and then hot conditions, really hot on the East Coast. Lots of sunshine uh, for the Great Lakes, but we will see unsettled conditions in through the Carolinas and down through the south and again the plains. But on the weekend, boy, we're getting a real push of southwesterly flow. That's going to be warming us up big time. Get ready uh, for a big heat wave for a few days and then another one next week that I've been teasing all week. You've probably heard me talking about it. Some of the hottest air that we've seen yet this season, especially for the Central Plains and up through the uh, Northern Plains as well. But until then, Minneapolis, a little bit cool at 77. Chicago on Friday. Today we're only about 70. Uh, 87 for St. Louis. A little bit better on Saturday for the Great Lakes. 76 for Chicago, but still below seasonal for sure. Uh, Minneapolis, you're looking at 80 and down through Denver. 95 OKC at 94. And that's where we're really focusing um, our severe weather threat is really in the central plains. 95 for St. Louis Sunday. Uh, 91 for Atlanta. 85 for New York. So a lot of 80s and 90s along the eastern seaboard. It's going to be nice. Really nice weekend. Um, except in the Carolinas, as I mentioned, Virginia Beach area, uh, the Delmarva region, you could be a little bit unsettled. Okay, so today, Western Kansas, all eyes on you. Looks like some pretty strong storms, according to some of the models that will roll through this afternoon into the evening hours. And then for Saturday, our attention turns to the north, where we're watching for a new low that develops that'll bring in some storms. A lot of energy to be playing around with today. That's our cape, and cape measures basically the strength of our updraft. Um, we've got cape that's very high, especially through. Um, Central Kansas, so along I-70, down I-35 into Oklahoma, northern Oklahoma more so than southern Oklahoma. Um, and then you can see that storm basically slide eastward. And, yeah, we're looking at the southern Appalachians and basically in the, the deep south, some scattered showers for your Friday. Um, and there's that powerful one that just rolled over Wichita. Do you see that? So that could be Friday evening into Saturday. New low develops into uh, the Rockies and east of the Rockies, I should say, and that pushes through the upper Midwest by your weekend, watching that cold front for the weekend as well. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about our sea surface temperatures and how they play a factor into Darby and many other storms as we continue this eastern Pacific season.